Have you ever found yourself lying awake at night, heart pounding, wondering how you're going to face the next challenge? Those relentless battles, the people who stand against you, the fear that creeps in. In those moments, it's easy to feel abandoned, like no one sees the struggle. But let me tell you, God sees you and he hasn't forgotten you. Psalm 27 reveals a powerful truth. When everything around you seems to crumble, Jesus steps in. He doesn't hesitate. He fights for you, protects you, and declares you victorious over every enemy and every fear. If you've been looking for a sign that God is still with you, that you are not facing this alone, this is it. Stay with me. Because today, we're going to uncover how this psalm is not just words on a page. It's your weapon, your shield, your promise that no evil can stand against God's power in your life. Now let us pray Psalm 27, a powerful prayer for protection from all evil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 27 is not just a prayer. It's a shelter for the soul. A declaration that in the midst of our most crippling fears and darkest battles, God is our refuge. This psalm carries us beyond the surface of life's struggles and into the heart of God's promises where his protection is unshakable and his presence is constant. When you make this psalm your daily prayer, you're stepping into a divine reality where fear doesn't have the final say and enemies, no matter how fierce, are already defeated. Let this psalm sink deep into your spirit because it's not only a prayer, it's your declaration of victory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Fear is a shadow creeping in the corners of our hearts, but God is the light that scatters it. Not just a flicker, but a brilliant, all-consuming light that swallows the darkness. This isn't just about fear in moments of danger. This is about the subtle fears that live in the quiet places of our hearts. The fear of being alone, the fear of failing, the fear of the unknown. But when God is your light, fear has no ground to stand on. It dissolves in his presence. The psalm isn't asking, will you be afraid? It's asking, with God beside you, what fear can remain? Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Life sometimes feels like a siege, doesn't it? Not a single enemy, but many. 
Problems pressing in on every side. Relationships fraying, health wavering, financial strains building. The world can feel relentless. But this psalm speaks to the quiet courage that God gives. Even when life feels like a battlefield, when chaos surrounds you, your heart can be still. Why? Because the battle is not yours alone. God is your defender. And when he stands with you, no army, whether physical or emotional, can overtake you. The strength of God isn't just in his might. It's in the peace he brings to your heart, even when war is all around. One thing I ask, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord. In a world full of distractions, with voices pulling you in every direction, this verse brings a moment of clarity. David isn't asking for protection from his enemies or victory in battle. Not here. He's asking for something deeper, to be near God, to gaze upon his beauty, not just in passing, but to truly dwell in his presence. What if that became the center of our prayer, not just asking God to take away our struggles, but to give us more of himself in the midst of them? There is beauty in his presence that makes everything else fade, that makes even the fiercest storm feel distant. It's the kind of beauty that quiets your soul, the kind that reminds you what is truly important. For in the day of trouble, he will hide me. There's something breathtakingly intimate about this promise. When trouble comes, and it will, God hides you. Not to take you out of the world, but to place you in a safe, holy space. A space where the noise can't reach you, where the weight of the world feels lighter. He lifts you up, places you on a rock where you can stand above the chaos. Think of that. The world swirling beneath you, but you, untouched, resting in the shelter of God's presence. Jesus himself prayed for his followers, asking that though they would be in the world, they would be protected from the evil in it. This is your promise, not escape, but shelter, not avoidance of the storm, but safety within it. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Waiting is hard. In a world that demands immediate solutions, waiting feels like weakness. But in God's kingdom, waiting is a place of strength. It's where faith is formed, where we are reminded that God's timing is different from ours, but always perfect. We want answers now. We want battles won today. But God says, wait. Not because he's forgotten you, but because... He is preparing something greater than you could imagine. In the waiting, your heart grows stronger, your faith deepens, and you begin to see the threads of God's goodness weaving through every moment of your life. Courage, in this sense, isn't the absence of fear, but the willingness to trust, even when the outcome isn't clear. Psalm 27, in its essence, is not just about protection, it's about trusting in the closeness of God when the world feels distant. It's about learning to rest in his light when darkness tries to encroach. It's about believing deeply that no matter what enemies rise, no matter what battles you face, God is already standing between you and the storm. When you pray this psalm, you're not asking for an escape from hardship. You're stepping into the very heart of God's protection. You're reminding yourself that Jesus, who faced the greatest enemy of all, has already claimed victory over every evil that seeks to harm you. You are not praying out of fear. You are praying out of confidence that God is your stronghold, your light, your salvation. And when you stand in that truth, nothing can shake you. So, take Psalm 27 as your daily prayer. Let it be the foundation of your faith. Speak it when the night feels long, when the battle feels heavy. And know that as you do, you are stepping into a promise that has stood for centuries. God will protect you. He will hide you in his presence. And no evil, no matter how powerful, can stand against his love for you. Let me ask you this. 
Have you ever felt like the world was pressing in on you? Like no matter where you turned, something dark and unmovable stood in your way? Sometimes, life feels like a battlefield where the forces of evil seem to be gaining ground. Whether it's in the form of illness, betrayal, financial hardship, or even the silent whispers of fear that creep into our hearts in the dead of night. But I am here to tell you today, and I want you to listen closely. God protects his people, not just with words, not just with distant promises, but with powerful divine action. Let me remind you of what we know from the scriptures. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Isaiah 54, 17. This isn't just a poetic phrase, my friends. This is a divine guarantee. Evil forces may rise, enemies may come against you, but they will not prevail. Not because of your strength, not because of your cleverness, but because God's hand is over you. He is a shield, an impenetrable fortress around those who call on him. Look to the saints, people like John Paul II, who faced great darkness in his life. He stood before the oppression of totalitarian regimes, survived an assassination attempt, and yet he never wavered. Why? Because he trusted not in the power of man, but in the power of God's protection. John Paul II famously said, Do not be afraid. Open wide the doors to Christ. He knew that when we open the doors of our hearts to Christ, we are inviting the very power of God to dwell within us and with God inside us. What enemy could possibly stand? Think of David, the shepherd boy who stood before Goliath. Goliath wasn't just a man. He was a symbol of overwhelming power, the kind of enemy that seems impossible to overcome. And yet, with nothing but a sling and a few stones, David didn't just face the giant, he defeated him. But here's the thing, David didn't win because he was strong. He won because he knew that God was stronger. In 1 Samuel 17, 45, David declares, You come against me with sword and spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. That's the heart of the message today. You're not facing your battles alone. When you're under attack, remember, you fight with the power of the Lord Almighty. The forces of evil can come with their weapons, but they have no power against the one who created the heavens and the earth. Let me share something personal. We all know what it feels like to be under attack. Maybe for you, it's not a literal army, but it's the battles of everyday life, the stress of work, the pain of broken relationships, the worry about your children, or maybe it's something deeper, a spiritual attack, that quiet, gnawing feeling that something is trying to pull you away from God to drown you in doubt or despair. In those moments, you must remember who you are and whose you are. You are a child of the King, protected by the Creator of the universe. Look at what the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6.12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This isn't just a battle of the physical world. There are spiritual forces at work trying to distract you, trying to pull you away from God's protection. But God has not left us defenseless. In the very next verses, Paul tells us to put on the full armor of God. This armor is not made of steel or iron, but of faith, righteousness, and the word of God. The very things that Satan and his forces cannot stand against. And let's not forget about Jesus. He faced the greatest enemy of all, death. When Jesus hung on that cross, it looked like evil had won. His enemies mocked him. Satan surely believed he had the victory. But what happened on that third day? Jesus rose from the dead. He shattered the power of death. He conquered the grave. And in doing so, he conquered every evil force that would ever try to come against us. John 16.33 gives us Jesus' words, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome 
the world. This is our assurance. If Jesus can overcome death itself, what power does evil have over us? But friends, we must not simply sit back and wait for God to act. We must call upon him, as Psalm 91 tells us, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. We must dwell in his presence, because when we do, we are protected from every arrow the enemy tries to fire at us. We are hidden under his wings, kept safe from the forces that want to harm us. Now, you might be asking, how do I access that protection? The answer is simple, through faith and through prayer. When we pray to God, when we call upon his name, we are inviting his protection into our lives. James 4.7 says, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You see, the devil can't stand against a child of God who is fully submitted to him. When you resist the enemy by calling on the name of Jesus, he has no choice but to flee. There is no evil that can stand against the power of Christ within you. And remember this, St. John Paul II reminded us time and time again that the world is filled with struggles, but he also told us Christ is with us. He lived through wars, through persecution, through assassination attempts, and yet his faith never faltered. He knew the truth that we must hold on to. God is our refuge. So what should you do when you feel attacked? You pray. You stand on the promises of Scripture. You speak the words of Psalm 27, of Isaiah 54, of Ephesians 6. You remind yourself that you are protected. You remind yourself that God's shield is around you, that his angels stand guard over you. And when the enemy comes, when evil forces rise against you, you don't run, you don't hide. You stand firm in the knowledge that God is fighting for you. In 2 Chronicles 20 verse 15, the Lord says, Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Remember that, friends, the battle is not yours. It is the Lord's, and he has never lost a fight. God will protect you from every enemy, from every evil, and nothing, nothing can stand against his power. So today, open wide the doors of your heart to Christ. Trust in him, call upon his name, and know that he will surround you with his love and his protection. Evil may try to come against you, but it will never prevail. You are a child of God, and his shield is around you today and always. Amen. Now let us pray Psalm 27 once again. Let the power of this psalm resound in our hearts once again. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. 
Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Thank you, my dear friends, for praying this powerful psalm with me. If you haven't already, feel free to leave a comment with your prayer intentions for your loved ones so we can lift them up together. And if this message has touched your heart, take a moment to share it with others on WhatsApp or Facebook. Let's spread this prayer of protection far and wide. In these turbulent times, when the weight of the world presses upon us, we often find ourselves searching for a beacon of hope. The news bombards us with stories of strife and uncertainty, wars erupting in distant lands, economies teetering on the brink, personal trials that shake our very foundations. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, isn't it? Yet, amid this chaos, there is a divine promise that stands unwavering. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Psalm 27.1 let us take a moment to let those words wash over us. Picture King David surrounded by enemies, his life hanging in the balance, yet he proclaims an unshakable trust in God. How is it that he finds such courage? It's because he knows that God is not distant or indifferent. He is a fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. Think about the challenges you face each day, the concerns for your family's well-being, the pressures at work, the silent struggles that weigh heavy on your heart. Maybe it's the uncertainty of what tomorrow holds or the lingering doubts that keep you up at night. But remember, Jesus reassures us, in this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. And John 16, 33, our Savior understands our sorrows. He walked this earth, faced temptation, endured suffering, and yet overcame it all. He extends his hand to us, inviting us to cast our burdens upon him. As St. Paul reminds us, if God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8.31 Dear brothers and sisters, Psalm 27 is not just ancient poetry, it's a living testament to God's enduring protection. When we align our hearts with His, seeking His presence above all else, the fears that once loomed large begin to fade. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. Psalm 27, 3 Let this be our heartfelt prayer today, that we may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives, to gaze upon his beauty and seek him earnestly. In doing so, we open ourselves to a peace that transcends understanding, a divine protection that shields us from all forms of evil. As you navigate the storms of life, hold firmly to the assurance that God is your shield. You're not alone. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead is at work within you, guarding your heart and mind. So when the shadows of doubt creep in and the noise of the world grows deafening, retreat into the quiet sanctuary of God's love. Meditate on his promises. Let his words be the lamp that guides your path. Embrace the truth of Psalm 27, allowing it to strengthen your faith and embolden your spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may you always find refuge under his mighty wings. My dear ones, now let us pray to God for protection. Let us ask him that our prayers will be heard. Merciful Heavenly Father, in these moments when the shadows of uncertainty loom large, we humbly come before you, seeking the shelter of your everlasting arms. The weight of the world presses upon us the strains of our daily lives, the unspoken fears that haunt us, the relentless challenges that seem insurmountable. We are burdened by worries about our families, our health, our livelihoods. 
The news around us is filled with turmoil and strife, and sometimes, Lord, it feels as though the forces of darkness are closing in. But we take heart in knowing that you, O Lord, are our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Lord Jesus Christ, you who calmed the raging seas and healed the brokenhearted, we call upon your mighty name. Surround us with your divine protection. Shield us from every enemy, both seen and unseen. Guard our minds against the whispers of despair and our hearts against the arrows of discouragement. Father, we lift up to you the struggles that we face in our everyday lives, the tensions in our relationships, the pressures at work, the financial strains that keep us awake at night. We pray for your wisdom to navigate these challenges. Help us to respond with grace and patience when we are tested. Grant us the courage to stand firm in our convictions, even when it's difficult. We ask for your justice to prevail in situations where we feel wronged or oppressed. Yet we also pray for our enemies, as you have taught us, that their hearts may be softened and turned toward righteousness. Let forgiveness flow where there has been hurt, and reconciliation where there has been division. Holy Spirit, fill us anew with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Remind us of the promises found in Psalm 27. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. May these words resonate deeply within us, fortifying our spirits against the trials we face. Lord, we confess that at times our faith wavers. In moments of weakness, help us to remember that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. That your love for us is unchanging, and your plans for us are good. Teach us to cast all our anxieties upon you because you care for us. As we walk through the valleys of life, let us not forget that you are with us every step of the way. Illuminate our paths with your truth. Close the doors that lead to harm and open those that lead to your blessings. Unite us as a community of believers, supporting one another in love and truth. We thank you, Lord, for your unfailing mercy and grace. We trust that even in the midst of our struggles, you are working all things together for our good. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. In the powerful and mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Dear friends, thank you for staying with us until the end of this prayer. Your time and your heart mean so much to us. We deeply appreciate your generous donations. They make it possible for us to continue sharing these messages of faith and hope with all who need them. If this prayer resonated with you, please consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll join a community committed to uplifting one another through the Word of God. Don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts or prayer requests in the comments below. Your words could be the encouragement someone else needs today. Whenever life's challenges feel overwhelming, we invite you to return and pray Psalm 27 with us again. Let its powerful message help you capture all the strength and peace that God offers. May God's grace be with you and may you walk in His light always.